Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at my recently acquired Orient Kamasu. There are several colors for this new lineup, with the red and green dial being the new colors from Orient in their affordable dive watches. Prior to getting their official name from Orient, this Kamasu and another lineup called the Kano was rumored to be either called either the Ray Tree or the Mako Tree. This Kamasu does share some resemblance to the Ray and Mako, but it is an entirely different lineup. Let's get straight into the specifications of the watch. The watch has a case diameter of 42mm excluding the crown. It has a thickness of 12.7mm, a lug to lug distance of 46.8mm and a 22mm lug width. The case is fully brushed at the top and polished on the sides. It has a 120 click unidirectional bezel with an aluminium insert. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Uh, the bezel action is a little bit loud and hollowy if compared to, I would say, the Mako 2. The dial is protected by a flat sapphire crystal. This is definitely a significant upgrade over the Ray and Mako. And considering the price, this is way better than a majority of Seiko divers out there. It has a water resistance of 20 bar, as printed in the dial, or 200 meters. It has a screw down crown and the crown is signed. One thing that remains a major weakness on this piece is the tiny crown. I think the crown is the same as those on the Mako or Ray. It is actually too small and very difficult to operate. On this piece, there seems to be a significant gap between the crown guards and the crown. It seems to me like Orient intended to upgrade to a bigger crown and chicken out in the end. Maybe they just have too many of those small crowns in stock. The dial on this red Kamasu is a matte dial that has some sunburst effect. I'm not sure whether if it's showing up on the camera. All the markers are applied. It has a large arrow for the hour hand and a sword shaped minute hand. The second hand has a loom triangle tip. All the markers and hands are filled with generous amount of loom. There is a day and date window with a metallic frame. However, I do wish that they have a black background instead of a white one. The Orient logo is applied with the words automatic and water resist printed in cursive text. And I would say the 20 bar seems to have a printed aerial bolt text. Let's get into the movement of this piece. This piece has the same exact movement from the Ray and Mako 2. It is caliber F6922, which is an in-house Orient movement. It beats at 21,600 beats per hour and rated Accuracy of plus 25 to minus 15 seconds per day. It is hand windable and hackable. It has a power reserve of 40 hours. The back of this piece is covered with a solid screw down case back with some mild laser engraved details. There is nothing fanciful here except for the wave pattern at the middle. The bracelet comes with hollow end links but all the links are solid. They have brush finishing on the top and polish finishing on the sides. It has a fold-over push-button deployment clasp. The buckle is bigger than those on Mako 2 and I do feel that they are a little bit too bulky and clumsy especially for my small wrist. I do wish that they are interchangeable but according to Mark from longislandwatch.com, they are not. This is how the watch looks on my 6-inch wrist. Since it has a similar dimensions to that of Mako 2, it fits similarly good on my small wrist. And if you have a bigger wrist, it would be definitely a great fit. My only complaint is that the slightly oversized clasp, as you can see, is basically taking up the entire width of my wrist. Okay, some closing thought on this piece. When I first saw this Kamasu launch, I was quite hesitant to get one of them. To me, they just look like either the Marker 2 or Ray 2 with the Sapphire Crystal on top. Since I already have the Mako 2, I don't really think that it warrants the price increase for the upgrade. 
However, if you really want a sapphire crystal or some cool new colors, or you don't currently own a Mako or a Ray, then this would be certainly a good buy. After having this for a few weeks, I still feel the same though, but the interesting red dial might slowly tip me over. We will see. That's it for this video. I'll be making another video to compare this Kamasu 2 with my Mako 2, Mako or Mako 2. Please subscribe if you haven't already so that you won't miss out on that video. You can also find me on Instagram at gfw underscore watch for more watch pictures. Till then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.